Our next instrument is the trombone. The trombone is also a brass instrument that is going to utilize a buzz. Much like the trumpet, we are going to learn how to assemble this first. You always want to make sure that your case is on a flat surface. It's for the instrument's safety. So we're going to unlatch the latches of the trombone case, and you are going to see that the trombone is in two main parts. We have this part here, which is the bell, and we have this part here, which is the slide. Much like the trumpet, the trombone comes with a mouthpiece as well. The mouthpiece on the trombone is larger than that of the trumpet. So let's put this together. We start with the slide. Here, you will see what we call the slide lock. When the slide lock is on, I can't move the slide. When the slide lock turns and it's off, I can now move the slide. When you are assembling the trombone, it is very important that you always make sure that that slide lock is on. So when you take the slide out of your case, you're going to go ahead and make sure that that is lock is on. You're going to put the slide in your right hand. You're then going to take the bell of the trombone. You're going to see that there's threads for a screw, and it happens to be a screw right here on the trombone. You're gonna insert this part of the trombone into the slide. And once it's in there, you're gonna go ahead and screw that into place. What that does is it locks the bell and the slide together. So now the two parts have become one instrument. Mind you, the slide lock is still on. The next thing you're going to do, much like the trumpet, you're going to take the trombone mouthpiece, insert it into the lead pipe with in and a slight turn. You're not going to slam it. You're not going to jam it. And that's how you put the trombone together. So now we're going to learn how to hold the trombone. So now we're going to learn how to hold the trombone. We start with our left hand. We want to make sure that our left hand makes the I love you hand symbol. So what we do is we put our thumb right here on the trombone. Our index finger will go right here, right below the mouthpiece. And our thumb, I'm sorry, our pinky will go right below where we hold the slide. So that's how we hold it in one hand. When we add the right hand, we now take the pinky, wrap it around this part of the trombone, and we put our right hand right here on the slide. And you wanna hold it with your index and middle finger and thumb, almost like you're holding a glass, okay? I unlock the slide, and now I'm free to move about the trombone. So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make the sound on the trombone. Much like trumpet, we're going to tighten our corners and we're going to kind of pucker our lips. The way I like to think about it is thinking the words, mmm, like you'd say, mm, mm that's good. And then after that, you're going to say the word put, mmm, put. And that's exactly where you're going to want to put your mouthpiece. So watch my lips and watch my face. Mmm, put. Now that it's there, you're gonna be able to make that raspberry sound. And then you're going to be able to make a sound on the mouthpiece. So now that you can make a sound on the mouthpiece, we're gonna learn the first three notes of the trombone. Now trombones, as you can see, doesn't have any keys like our woodwind instruments or valves like our trumpet. It has this slide. So knowing where to put this slide is really important to know where each note is. And we call each slide placement a position. 
There are seven positions for the trombone. The first note that we're gonna learn is low B flat. And that is in your book so you can see where it falls on the second line of the bass clef. Low B flat is in first position, which is the slide all the way in towards the mouthpiece. You're gonna take your nice deep breath, you're gonna make your mm put, and you're gonna buzz into the mouthpiece that will come out of the bell, making low B flat. <sighs> Our next note is going to be C. C is in sixth posi position on the slide. So we have our slide come out to about here and there's a diagram in your book that will show you exactly where sixth position is. And you can always ask me for a little help if you don't know where this is. C is in sixth position. You're gonna pucker your lips, make the mm put, and you're gonna play C. Our last note that we're gonna learn in this video is D. D is in fourth position. Fourth position is where the slide, the end of the slide meets the bell. So if you look across, this end of the slide lines up with the bell. That's fourth position. And this is where we're gonna play the note D. Much like B flat and C, we're gonna take our deep breath, mm put, and then we're gonna blow into the instrument. Those are the three starting notes for the trombone. B flat in first position, C in sixth position, and D in fourth position. When we put them in whole notes and play them together, this is what it sounds like. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna disassemble the trombone and put it back in the case. The first thing that you will do, and you should do this when you're not playing, is make sure that slide lock is on. Now that slide cannot move. For next thing I'll do is I'll take the mouthpiece off by twisting and pulling and put it back in my case. Then you remember that screw from the beginning? We're gonna go ahead and unscrew that while holding the slide in one hand. And once it can't unscrew anymore, you're gonna do this and pull it off. You're then gonna put the, the bell down on a flat surface, double check that the slide lock is on, and you are going to put the slide back into its case with the spit valve facing up. If your case has a protective barrier for the trombone, or for the slide, you're gonna to wanna to snap that into place. Once that's done, you'll take the bell of the trombone and fit it back into the case and slide the locks into position. Now the trombone is secure, you can close the case, you can latch, all of the latches and you're good to go. Now that you know the first three notes of the trombone and where they are on the musical staff, where they are in slide positions, and you know how to put your instrument together and make a sound, you are ready to go back and review this material or you're ready to come and have some fun in the other room with band fundamentals. <laughs>